This side of the field. Kicking off for the University of Southern California will be Matt Bird, a sophomore from New Orleans. Bird sees the ball on the 40, is not quite satisfied with the way it looks, adjusts it again, turns, looks at it one last time, puts his back to it and walks back to the Trojan 30-yard line. And this, the 49th annual Rose Bowl battle, is about to get underway. Bird raises his hand, the referee's whistle, as Bird advances on the football and boots it. A short end-over-end kick coming down on the 23-yard line. Picked up by Richter at the 25, the 30, the 35. He's hit and brought down, fumble. Ball rolling free, the Badgers have recovered. Richter brought that kickoff back from his own 23-yard line, back to the Wisconsin 36 or 37. Pete Lewis sits and Ernie Pye were there to put the stop on him. And as Richter was hit, he fumbled, and Steve Underwood, co-captain for the Badgers, fell on the loose ball, and the officials are marking it. On the Wisconsin 36-yard line, it'll be first and ten for Wisconsin at that point. The white-clad Badgers come out of the huddle up to the line of scrimmage. Wide left is Richter, Holland is the slot back on the left side. Van der the quarterback. Holland in motion to the left, takes the pitch, going to the right side, cuts back in, is hit right at the line of scrimmage, and stops at the 35. Damon Bain, leading the charge from the University of Southern California. And Holland is hit and stopped right at the line of scrimmage. He may have lost a half yard. The officials will mark it back on the 36. So it's going to be second down and no gain. Call it second and ten for Wisconsin. The ball is 20 yards in on the hash marks from the far side of the field. Opening moments of this, the 49th Rose Bowl from Pasadena. Again to the line of scrimmage come the Badgers. Bowman puts himself up over the ball. Plot back on the right. Victor is set wide right. Plot back on the right is Stoner. Corner comes in motion, back to the left side. Van der Kellen takes the hand off, rolls up, right, fires the pass off the fingertips of Richter, and out of bounds, incomplete at the Wisconsin 43-yard line. Ken Del Conte was there, as the pass thrown by Van der Kellen was just a bit high and a bit out in front of uh, Pat Richter, unable to get all of his hands on it. It fell incomplete. In at left guard for the Badgers, the junior, Ronnie Parr, replacing Mike Groth. Parr is in at the left guard spot and grosses out to the University of Wisconsin. Third down and ten. Badgers have the ball on their own 36-yard line. Again, Richter goes wide to the right. Holland is the slot back on the left side. Van der Kellen, the quarterback, takes the snap. Hands off on the delay to his fullback and hitting up the middle is Ralph Curry. And he gets over the 36 to about the 37 where Marv Malinovic brings him down. And the officials mark the ball back on the 36. So in three plays, the Badgers have been unable to move the football, and Van der Kellen has come out of the ball game now, and Ron Swain is in. Would indicate a punting situation for the Badgers, and Pat Richter is dropping back on the Wisconsin 42-41 yard line. The deep men for the Trojans, Willie Brown and Ken Del Conte of the University of Southern California. High pass to Richter, steps into it and boots that ball. A high wobbly spiral, angling off to the right and going out of bounds. We'll wait for the officials to mark it. It'll be a Southern California break as the crowd across the way, predominantly Trojan fans, set up a huge roar of approval, and the ball is going to be marked inbound at the University of Southern California 42 or 43 yard line. The officials will cut it down on the Trojan 43 yard line as into the ball game comes Pete Bethard, quarterback for USC. 21 yard kick by Pat Richter, slipped off the side of his foot. Wide to the left comes Bethard. In motion, Willie Brown, the snap to Bethard to give to Wilson. Wilson hits straight up the middle for five, six yards as he goes. Four, seven yards over the 50 and down to the Wisconsin 49. Underwood, along with Parr, in to make the stop from their linebacking position for the Badgers. The officials mark it just over the 50. And it'll be second down and three yards to go as Wilson picks up seven. Out of the ball game comes Jerry Kerner, and in is Mac Bird at the left tackle spot at the University of Southern California. We're in the first period of play. Twelve and a half minutes, three men in this first quarter. Bessel is sent wide to the left. Bessel, the quarterback, hands off again. This time, carrying the ball and hitting straight up the middle is Ben Wilson, over the 50, down to about the Badger 48-yard line. A host of white-clad University of Wisconsin football players, led by Steve Underwood, were in to make the stop on Wilson. Andy Wadula from his right tackle spot was there also to help bring down the big fullback from Houston, Texas. It's in 47 and a half yard line. The Trojan huddle. Badgers are basically in a six-man defense. 6-2 for the most part. As Bethel comes out of the Trojan huddle and comes wide to the right to the University of Southern California. Bethel's the quarterback. In motion to the left is Brown. The snap to Bethel to give the Wilson. He breaks it to the open at the 40. The 35 and he's down to the Wisconsin 31. It's Ben Wilson. Stopped by Jim Reynolds under the 
Wisconsin 31. Wilson finding big running room on the left side of the Wisconsin line as Lucas sits in the limit that's open to hole, and the big fullback rambled and sets up quite a roar from this predominantly Southern California crowd. A 16-yard run for Ben Wilson. First and 10, University of Southern California on the Wisconsin 31-yard line. Wilson has carried three times for 26 yards. Trojan comes to the line of scrimmage, send Hal Betzel wide to Kendall County. Quarterback in motion is Brown to the left, as Dufford rolls out, gets a good block for Wilson, turns the corner at the 30. He gets another block at the 25, he's hit at the 20 and down in the Wisconsin 19. Again, Jim Nettles brought him down. Hal Betzel threw a crushing block. Ben Wilson threw a block, and Pete Dufford, the junior quarterback, turned the corner and sprinted to the Wisconsin 19. A 12-yard game, first and 10. Southern California on the Wisconsin 19-yard line. The ball is brought in, 17 yards from this, the near side of the field. Corner is out. Bill Smith, the junior halfback, is in on defense for Wisconsin. Dojans have picked up three straight first downs. Drive started back on the SC 43-yard line. Del County is wide left. That's the wide right. The handoff is given to Brown. And Willie Brown is inside the 19 to about the Wisconsin 16-yard line and a straight ahead with Andy Wadula there to make the stop for the University of Wisconsin. A gain of two yards for Brown. It'll be second down and eight. The ball marks just nose up to the Wisconsin 17-yard line. Ron Carlson is in. Ron Leapflat is out at left end for the Badgers. Dufford takes the snap, rolls out to the right, doesn't get a block, wants to throw, wants to run, fires it. Dufford has got it, and he's out of bounds on the Wisconsin 6-yard line. Dufford took the snap from center and rolled out by left. Did not get a block, could not run, cocked his arm, elected the pass, and threw it to Betzel, who gloved it on the Wisconsin six-yard line. A big rush put on by Pat Richter, and Dufford fired the ball to Betzel, who took it and stepped out of bounds. First and goal for USC. The ball on the Wisconsin five-and-a-half-yard line. In motion, Brown gives to Wilson. Hit down and fumbles. But recovering the football is Bethard back on the eight. Wilson was hit right up the five-yard line by Carlson and Phillips and Parr. Seven-man line for the Badgers as Bethard takes the snap, roll, rolls wide to his right, fires the pass in the end zone, tipped away, intended for Brown, and tipped away by Bill Smith. Willie Brown all but had that ball tucked to his bosom as Bill Smith reached in and flicked it away from the Southern California halfback in the pass goes incomplete. So the ball comes. Wisconsin 8. Betzel is wide right. Brown in motion to the left. Wilson throws the block for Betzel. Tries to turn the corner up the 10th. Throws in the end zone. Betzel is all alone. He has a touchdown for USC. He'll check it for a moment. He was over the line of scrimmage. The officials have judged that Chief Betzel was over the line of scrimmage when he threw the touchdown pass to Hal Betzel. The play goes for naught, and the Trojans are assessed a five-yard penalty to boost the ball back. Bessel was all alone. He just lobbed a little short toss, and Bessel dropped it easily, but he had gone past the line of scrimmage. Sander Cullen is back in for Ron Plain in the defensive quarterback position for Wisconsin. It is a fourth down and 13-yard situation now. The Trojans lose not only the yardage, but the down. Bessel takes the snap, looks back, flips over the middle. position. Dufford will hold, and Tom Lupo is in to try the extra point. The snap, the ball is down, the kick is in the air. It's good. Time out on the field with the score, the University of Southern California 7, the University of Wisconsin nothing. USC kicks off. Gary Corner has the ball for Wisconsin at the 20. Cut back toward the middle of the field, hit at the 25, and down in the 26, Mike Marv Marinovich leading the Trojan charge to bring down Gary Croner on the Wisconsin 26-yard line. 7 to nothing. the Trojans lead, and we have 9 minutes and 5 seconds remaining in this, the first period of play. And for our wide right is Richter. In motion to the left is Holland. Van der takes the handoff, cuts back, wants to throw, being heavily rushed, to lose two tacklers, runs beautifully to the 30. The 35 is out of bounds on the Wisconsin 40. And Ron Van der showed some fine football ability as he eluded three tacklers, pressing him closely, deep in his own backfield behind the line of scrimmage, and turned to his left and 
race upfield, away from tacklers before Pete Suffered, defensive quarterback for the Trojans, could bring him down as they ran him out of bounds on the Wisconsin 40-yard line. There is a flag down on the field, and it would appear that there will be a personal foul called against the University of Southern California. That is the indication from referee Jim Kane, and we're going to have a 15-yard walk-off from the Wisconsin 41 down to the University of Southern California 44-yard line. Wide to the left is Victor. The snap to Vander Kellen, flips it to Lou Holland, goes wide to the right, cuts back in, the features at the 45, gets to the 42, a flag goes down. Lubasic, Segusti, and Bain in to make the stop as Holland, running to his right, cut back in at the 45 and down to about the 42-yard line, but a penalty tripping against the University of Wisconsin from the 49-yard line, a 15-yard walk-off, and that will offset the 15 yards packed up against the Trojans a moment ago and nullify a good portion of a fine 14-yard run by Ron Vanderkellen and bring the ball back to the University of Wisconsin, 36-yard line. The ball Wide left is Lou Holland. The snap to Vanderkellen drops straight back to throw. Being rushed, runs around in that backfield. He's up to 30. Fires upfield, and it's complete to Richter at the 50 and down to the Trojan 47, and he is formed under by Kendall Conti and Ernie Pye. Again, a flag goes down. Back on the Wisconsin 37. So Vanderkellen played scatter ball with the Trojan onrushers in that Wisconsin backfield. Now you see him and now you don't, and fired upfield, complete to Richter, but an ineligible receiver downfield has nullified another long gainer for the Badgers, and the officials will step off a penalty against U.S. University of Wisconsin, moving it back to the Badgers' 21-yard line. had covered his pass receivers quite well. The ball back to the Wisconsin 12-yard line, and it's now second down and 54 yards to go. The Trojans this year have been rightfully proud of their defense. They have given up only five and a half points per opponent per game in posting an unbeaten 10-0 season. Van der Kellen barking signal. Balance line in motion to the left is Holland, takes the pitch back, goes to the right, stop. He's going to throw. He fires it upfield. It's complete. And with it is Croner. Croner's hit and driven out on the Wisconsin 49 or 30 yard line. Fire across on the eastern side of the field. Del Conti made the tackle for the University of Southern California. On the halfback pass, Croner took the pitch from Van der Kellen, went to his right, and lobbed one upfield, complete to Croner. A gain of 18 yards. So it's going to be third down and 36 yards to go. Third and 36. Parr is in and grosses out of the left guard spot for Milt Bruins, Wisconsin Badgers. Seven to nothing. The Trojans lead. And we have 7 minutes, 45 seconds remaining in this the first period of play. Wide to the right. Holland set in the slot on the left as Van de is back to pass. Good protection, now being harassed. Fires over, incomplete, intended for Ralph Kirk. And it bounced off his outstretched fingertips on the Wisconsin 32. Fell incomplete at that point. And the ball comes back to the line of scrimmage, the Wisconsin 30-yard line. It is quicker than March. 57 yards for a touchdown. There's the snap, and the boot by Richter is a fine spiral, driving Willie Brown back to the Trojan 24. Takes it over his shoulder to the 25, looking for a block, cuts back up to the 30, the 35, the 38-yard line. Willie Brown carries back to the USC 38-yard line where Ken Bowman, the junior center for the Badgers, brings him down. And the Trojans are changing their offensive unit. And we'll take time out on the field, but the score... Quarterback is Bill Nelson. The snap to Nelson, he turns and hands to his fullback, Rich McMahon. McMahon hits just to the 35, perhaps the next shy of it, and a tough forward wall for Wisconsin brings him down. The Badgers have Lee Burnett in leading the charge, along with Jim Purnell from his fullback linebacker spot. In at left, left guard for Wisconsin. Bill Hoover again is wide to the left. Nelson takes the snap from center, rolls out to the right, stops, fires downfield. It is knocked down and almost intercepted. Almost intercepting was Jimmy Shank. The senior from Cleveland, Ohio, the 5'10", 202 right guard for the Badgers, who drifted back with Nelson's pass attempt and batted it down and turned it for Phil Hoover. Thank Clark. Wide left is Phil Hoover. Bill Nelson, the quarterback for the Trojans. Barking signal. 
Takes the snap from center, takes the handoff, gives the ball to his right halfback, and Heller hits to the line of scrimmage and is driven back as Jimmy Shank met him head on with a bull-like charge, shoulder down, tackle, and drove him back. The officials marked the ball at the line of scrimmage for no gain. Out of the ball game goes McMahon, in at the fullback spot to the Trojans is Ernie Jones. He's the University of Southern California putter, and this will be his first attempt of the afternoon. And Lou Holland for Wisconsin. Jones takes the snap on his own 20, steps into it, boots it high in the air and deep. Billy Smith is driven back to the Wisconsin 15-yard line, turns, comes back up field, is hit and stopped under a swarm of cardinal flag University of Southern California Trojans led by Fred Hill and Ron Heller down to make the stop for USC. And Wisconsin has the ball. They'll take over first and 10 on their own 19-yard line. A 51-yard punt by Ernie Jones of USC and a four-yard return by Billy Smith. Well, Mike, the Dodgers on their own 19-yard line. No Brune has Ron Carlson, Lee Burnett, Mike Gross, uh, Joe Heckel, Jim Shank, Roger Giacobazzi, and Pat Richter in his forward wall. Richter and Carlson are the ends. In the backfield, Ron Van der Schoen at quarterback. At fullback, Jim Purnell. And the halfback for the Badgers will be Lou Holland at left half and Bill Smith the right halfback spot. Up to the line of scrimmage come the Badgers. As Richter is sent wide left is the split end. Van der Kellen barking signals. In motion is Smith. Van der Kellen pitches back out to Holland coming to the side. He's at the 20, gets the block, is hit at the 26-yard line, driven down and out of bounds. On the Wisconsin 29 as Tom Lupo along with Damon Dame and Gary Hill combined to bring him down for USC. We have 6 minutes, 34 seconds remaining in this, the first period of play. The clock stopped as Holland went out of bounds. Trojans lead 7 to nothing over the Badgers. Holland has carried twice this afternoon and picked up a total of 10 yards. 4-3, now a 5-2 defense. As Van der Kellen is barking signals, in motion is Smith. The snap to Van der Kellen. He fakes the handoff and gives it to the second man through. Ralph Gurick is pulled back. He's hit at the 31 or 32, stopped by Gary Hill along with Matt Bird and Damon Vame. And the officials are marking his forward progress over the 30 up to the 32-yard line. To make it again is Richter. Van der Kellen barking signals. Behind an unbalanced line, strong to the right, takes the snap, drops straight back to pass, has good protection, fires up, complete to Holland at 32, cuts back in towards midfield, is hit, and dropped on the 35, carries over and up to about the 36. Damon Bame ran him down as Holland went to his left and took that little short pass out in the flat, thrown by Van der Kellen, cut back from the sideline toward the half mark, and was hit by Bame and dropped on the Wisconsin 36-yard line. It'll be third down and a long four. Ron Parr is in at left guard, and Mike Gross is out for Wisconsin. And the Badgers are faced with the big play here with 5 minutes, 23 seconds remaining in the football at Pasadena. Van der Kellen has Kroner wide to the right. He's back to pass, raises the arm, fires it over the middle, and it's complete. And down with the ball is Carlson. Hit and dropped as he goes over to the Wisconsin 45 and up to about the Badger 47, 48-yard line. Gary Hill brings him down on the Wisconsin 48, and it'll be first and 10 for Wisconsin. And the bat snap to Van der Kellen as he drops back to pass. Fires it over the middle and it's complete. With the ball hidden down is Gary Croner. Croner taking that bullet-like toss from Van der Kellen down at the Trojan 41-yard line. And it's another first and 10 Wisconsin as Fry and Bain bring him down. And the Badger attack now begins to open up. And we can well see those of us here on the West Coast who haven't seen Ron Van der Kellen in action. Why, this boy was such a brilliant passer and all-around total offense leader in the Big Ten and for Wisconsin this year. Side left as the flanker back is Lou Howland and Van der Kellen is back to pass again. Good protection, fires over the middle, it's complete to the fullback. Jurek and Jurek is hit and down as he goes over the Trojan 25 to the Trojan 23-yard line. Gary Hill brings him down on the Trojan 23 and the Trojans will ask for a timeout and into the ball game for John McCain will come his first unit to see if they can stem the tide against this on-rushing attack by the University of Wisconsin Badgers. Mike Walter Richter is sent wide to the left. Smith, Holland comes back in motion. Van der Kellen takes the snap, pitches off to Smith. Smith goes wide right, cuts back in at the sideline, gets about a yard, a yard and a half at the most. Ronnie Smith at the right half back spot, taking the pitch from Van der Kellen, stopped by Bain and Pye, and the official will be put into play here for a field goal should this Badger attack bogged down. Van der Kellen is straight back to the pass. Good protection, now starts to run. At the 20, he's at the 15 and down to the University of Southern California. 12-yard line is Ron Van der Kellen. 
Pete Lubitsch and Jalen Rain combined to bring him down, and Lou Holland paved the way for the fine run with a blistering block. Split wide left, Vander Cullen, barking signal, takes that snap, he's back to pass. Looks upfield, he fires for Richter, he's got it, he's at the end zone, no, he's out of bounds, just at the top line, he's no more than an inch and a half away from a touchdown. And Pete Beathard nearly stole that football, he was just one inch away from grabbing it and going all the way, and Richter grabbed it, went out of bounds at the one inch line, and that's where the ball is marked first and goal for the University of Wisconsin Badgers. Down below us, several thousand Wisconsin fans who journeyed west to see this great road bow battle setting up a din and a cry. As Van der Kellen Bart signals turns, hands off to his fullback. I don't know whether he made it or not. He's up the line of scrimmage, which is very close to the goal line. He did not make it. Into the line of scrimmage went Ralph Curick, and he was stopped there by Gary Kerner and Hal Bedsall and Marinovich and Lubasic. And the Trojans in the goal line defense now are bunched up. Under the center, barking signals. Takes the snap, gives it to his fullback, and Curtis is in, and Wisconsin has scored and listen to this crowd. Let me just up, there's the snap, the ball is down, the boot is in the air, and it is good. And this ball game is tied up at 7-7. Seven, seven. Foul call has penalized the Trojans 15 yards as Croner advances on the ball and boots it. He doesn't get much of a kickoff off the side of his foot. Bethel watches it go out of bounds on the Trojan 11-yard line, and that'll be a flag on that play for Illich's five-yard walk-off against the Badgers will put the ball back at midfield. So the Trojans have gained back five of the 15 yards they lost due to the personal foul call on the um, extra point try, which was quite successful by Wisconsin. We've seen some amazing offense put on by both of these clubs. The Trojans taking the ball on down from Wisconsin and marching 57 yards in nine plays with Pete Stuffer crossing to Ron Butcher on the tackle eligible play for the Trojan tally. And now the Badgers, after being stymied in two attempts with the ball, finally putting their attack together, going 81 yards in 11 plays to tie this game at 7-7. Richter's out, Larry Howard is in, primarily a defensive specialist at the right end spot. Gary Croner again to boot, this time the ball is on the 50, and here is his kick. This one is high, end over end, and deep. Kendall County in the end zone, a yard back. He's up the 5, at the 10, straight up the middle. He's hit at the 15, tries to drive his way forward. He's met with two blistering shoulder tackles in there, leading the way was number 73, Lee Burnett, and number 38, Jim Purnell. And they took Mr. Del Conte right up off his feet, held him right up in the air, and Ken, with legs turning, thought he could go nowhere. The ball is marked down on the University of Penn. Bethel is wide left. First team is back in there for USC. The snap to Bethard. Bethard hands off to fullback Ben Wilson, who fumbles as he hits over the 10-yard line up to about the 18 or 20. The ball is on the turf. We'll see who's got it. See how the officials call it. They say the ball had been blown dead. The ball had been blown dead, and the flag is down, an offside penalty against USC. While the officials get the option call from the Wisconsin captains, Underwood or Richter, we'll pass along this note that Ron Vanderkellen in the Wisconsin touchdown drive hit on five out of seven passes and hit five in a row in leading the Badgers 81 yards. Is Brown rolling out to the right side of Stuffard, fires a pass. Bethel has it at the 20. Tries to dance away, but can't. He's swarmed under on the USC 22 yard line. And a flag is going down. A flag went down, and we've got a personal foul call. It's going to be against. And the penalties offset each other, so the ball comes back once again to the University. Down and still 15 yards to go for the Trojans. Bethel is wide right as Bethard hands off to Big Ben Wilson and the fullback plunges, slanting off to the left side up to about the 9 or 10. Wilson carrying on a slant up to the 9 or 10 yard line. Bethard is sent wide right this time and Bethel goes wide left for Southern California. This game tied at 7-7. Bethard takes the hand off, keeps it on the bootleg, gets the block. He's hit at the 14 to 15 yard line and down he goes at the Sojin 15 tackled in there by Jim Nettles and Ron Crane. Over to make the stop for Wisconsin. 
Besser just carried twice for 17 yards. The bullet wide right. Besser, the quarterback, barking signal, takes the snap, puts it back to Brown. He's going wide to the left, has blockers in front of him, gets the block, cuts back in, he's at the 20 to 22 yard line. Where he's hit and stopped across the way by Bill Smith. Brings down Willie Brown. The officials will march the ball on the Trojan 22 yard line and it'll be fourth down coming up. As the gun sounds, that is the end of the first quarter with the score, the University of Southern California 7 and the University of Wisconsin 7. Five situations. Then Ernie Jones back on the Trojan 8-yard line in punt formation. Gary Croner and Lou Holland are deep for the Badgers in twin safeties. The high spiral comes sailing upfield where a fair catch is signaled for by Croner, and he puts the ball down on the Badgers' 31-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for Wisconsin as they take over at that point. First and 10 for the University of Wisconsin on their own 31-yard line. This ball game tied at 7-7. Ralph Curick, barking signal, takes the snap, puts the ball back to fullback. Curick, who hits, cutting back in straight up the middle. Over the 31 to about the 33, Pete Lubisic, Jerry Kerner, along with Marv Marinovich, in to make the stop for the Trojans. Right end is Richter, as Dunder Kelvin is back to pass, dropping straight back, fires up the middle, and it's incomplete. Intended for Holland and nearly intercepted by both Bretzel and Pete Beppard, who went high in the air on that bullet-like toss by Dunder Kelvin. The ball fled, slid out on the right side, the snap to Dunder Kelvin, who's rolling straight back to pass, fires one out intended for Richter. It is slapped away in complete to Richter. Richter made the catch right over Betzel's outstretched hands on the Wisconsin 41, 46 yard line, but a flag is down. A flag is down on the play. Again, wide to the right. Uh, check that. Wide to the left is Richter. Vander Kellen takes the snap, wants to pitch back, doesn't, turns and starts back into the line and gets just a yard, possibly two at the most, as Pete Lubisic is there to meet him and bring him down for USC. In there on the tackle also was Bill Fisk. A gain of a year right. Vander Kellen is dropping straight back to pass. Beautiful protection. Up the middle. It's intercepted by Damon Bay. At the 45. At the 40. 35. Tough back to the 30. He's down on the Wisconsin 29 yard line. Damon Bay. Star linebacker for the University of Southern California. Picked off the Vander Kellen aerial. Brought it back to the Wisconsin 29 where Andy Wadula and Lou Holland brought him down. A 19 yard run back. And the Trojans will take over first and ten with a big break on the Wisconsin 29-yard line. There's timeout in the field, but the score, University of Southern California 7 and Wisconsin 7. And spot. As wide left is Bedford, and Bedford takes the snap, flips it to Brown, going wide to his right. He's at the 30, tries to turn the corner and does it to 25. He's at the 20 and down to the 19-yard line. Willie Brown carries down inside the Wisconsin 20 to about the 19 or 18-yard line. The officials will mark it on the 18-yard line. Ron Carr and Jim Nettles bring him down there. Brown has carried three times this afternoon for 20 yards. Jim Purnell is into the ball game for Wisconsin as a linebacker. And it's going to be a first down for the Trojans, first and 10, on the Wisconsin 18-yard line. Why that so? In motion comes Brown. Duffert hands off to his fullback and booming up the middle is Ben Wilson. And he's inside the 15 to the Wisconsin 12. Ben Wilson hits straight ahead on the handoff from Duffert and goes to the Wisconsin 13, say the official, where Jim Purnell and Jim Schenck combine to bring him down. Wilson has carried six times this afternoon for 33 yards. And the Trojans, looking now to capitalize on a pass interception, have the ball deep in Wisconsin territory in a game that's tied at 7-7. That's what is the quarterback, sends Brown in motion to the right and gives to Wilson again the big pullback, hits up the middle, behind the fine charge of the Trojan forward wall and carries to the Wisconsin 7-yard line. Ball game. Betzel goes wide right, Beathard again, fakes the handoff to Wilson, keeps the first time himself, he's trying to turn the corner at the five, he's down close to the goal line and out of bounds, and a flag is down on the play. Beathard faking the handoff to the big fullback, rolled back to his left, and was out of bounds just at the goal line, and the flag is down on the play. We'll see how they call it. As Beathard is beating the backfield in motion against the University of Southern California, and Butcher is eligible on the tackle eligible. Bethard rolling back, may want to throw. Now he's going to run. He's at the 15. He's at the 10. Cut back at the 5. Is hit and muscled out of bounds on the 5-yard line. 
Jim Fernell hits Pete Stuffard, who elected to run rather than toss. The ball is out of bounds on the Badger 5 and is coming back in now to the hash mark on this, the west side of the field, 17 yards in. Brown comes in motion to the left on the snap. The give to Wilson, finds a bit of a hole, puts his head down, and the big fullback carries to the one-yard line before he is hit and hit hard by Roger Pillis and Roger Jakubowski of Wisconsin and driven back. A goal line defense for the Badgers on their one. Brown's in motion. Wilson carries. Did he make it? He's in for the touchdown. Listen to this crowd roar. will hold. Tom Lupo will attempt to snap. The ball is down. The kick is in the air. I believe almost partially blocked, but good. But good. Is the University of Southern California 14, the University of Wisconsin 7. Five. And coming up to grab it on the 10 is Lou Holland. He's at the 15, straight up the middle to the 25. This beats for 10 go. He's over the 30. Swings his hip three and carries up over the 35 and down to the Wisconsin 37-yard line. Armand Sanchez and Ernie Jones were in to make the stop. And the uh, swift moving Lou Holland, the speedy halfback from the University of Wisconsin. This little fella can really move. The officials are marking the ball down on the Badger. 36 and a half yard line as Wisconsin trailing 14 to 7 with nine and a half minutes to go in the half comes to the line of scrimmage. Bandit, Curic, Holland in corner in the backfield. Lift through the left end is set out about five yards to snap to Bandit Cullen. Takes the hand up. He's got it himself. He's back to pass. Being well, cut back in the hit. Right up the 35-yard line. As in there quickly was Sam Ganta for the University of Southern California, a junior tackle, standing 60 feet away, 200 pounds. Ganta in to make the stop. Here comes wide right. Vander Kellen gives on the drop play to his fullback, and Ralph Curick slips as he gets to the 35, and then right with him was Armand Sanchez at USC, number 54, in very quickly, and the slipping out about five yards to snap to Vander Kellen, takes the hand up, he's got it himself, he's back to pass, being right, cut back into the hip, right up the 35-yard line, as in there quickly was Sam Ganta for the University of Southern California, a junior tackle, standing 60 Thunder Cullen on third down is back to pass. Dropping straight back, looks up, field fires, and it is incomplete. Lauren Hunt was over there to knock down receiver Gary Conner as he went for the ball and goes incomplete on the 50-yard line and Wisconsin is back to kick. For Wisconsin standing on the Badger 22. There's the snap. He's into the ball and boots it. Off the side of his foot again, angling for the sideline, bouncing on the 34 and rolling out of bounds. On about the Trojan 25, the officials going to mark it just shy of the USC 25-yard line, where it will be first and ten for the Trojans at that point. The punt traveling 40 yards, no return by the Trojans as it's angled out of bounds on the Trojan 24 now is where they mark the ball down. Richter has averaged 33 yards on two kicks. And USC leading 14 to 7 will take over as John McKay sends in fresh troops now to battle the Bruins, the battle the Badgers of the University of Wisconsin. Bill Smith comes in at a defensive halfback spot and Corner goes out for Wisconsin. Carlson is in at the left end on defense and uh, Ron Lee Flat is out. Larry Howard is in and Pat Richter is out on defense. Those changes for the Badgers. While for University of Southern California's Trojans, Bill Nelson is in at quarterback. The halfbacks are Heller and Clark, and the fullback is Ben Wilson. Nelson barking signals, takes the snap, and hands off to Heller, finds a bit of a hole, and pops straight ahead on the halfback slant, cutting back in right up the garden center, is over to 25 to about the 27, 28-yard line. Steve Underwood poke up the quarterback, his barking signals for the Trojans. Takes the snap from center and rolls out to the right. Looking downfield as Tom Johnson throws a block. Nelson turns the corner at the 30 and spins his way over the 35 and down to the Trojan 36-yard line, where he was hustled to earth by Ron Carlson. Bill Nelson, going wide to his right, cut the corner on the quarterback rollout. The defensive halfback position. The snap to Nelson, the give to Wilson. He barrels his way ahead for another two or three yards from the 35 to about the 38. Stopped in there by Carlson and Jim Shank wide to the left. Brown wide to the right as Nelson is back to pass. Pretty good protection. Looks up to the valley. Hit. And down the ball rolls free. Nelson, 
but Johnson recovers, but the ball was blown dead when Nelson was hit and dropped back on the Trojan 30-yard line. Larry Howard and Ron Carlson, the two ends for Milk Green's ball club, pass through there beautifully. Ron Carr recovers the loose ball, but the officials have blown the play dead back on the Trojan 30-yard line. So near disaster for the Trojans is averted as Nelson was hit as he cocked his arm and down he went and the ball then rolled free. The officials say the play was dead at the Trojan 30. A loss on the play. And it's going to be third down for USC and uh, 16 yards to go. Third and 16 for the Trojans. Wide left is Brown as Nelson rolls out to the left side. Fires down to along. Billy Brown is down there. He's got the ball and down he goes. And a flag goes down as Brown is down on the Wisconsin 25 yard line. And I think we're going to have pass interference. Brown caught that long lobber by Bill Nelson. And now the officials are converging around Brown with the flag on the field. Pass interference is called against Wisconsin and we Hoover is wide left. Nelson, the quarterback, on the 25, flips it back to Heller. Going wide, cuts back in at 25 to 20. He's at the ball. He's at the ball. Heller scores for USC. Heller scores for USC. Heller scores for USC. Heller scores California Trojans go 76 yards in six plays. Two highlights being the long pass from Nelson to Brown and the 25-yard run by Ronnie Heller, the sophomore halfback. And the Trojans have gone ahead now, 20 to 7, as they now shift into the tie for the extra point. Five minutes, 11 seconds remain in this the first half of play. The snap, the ball is down. The kick by Lupo is up, and it is good. the score, the University of Southern California 21, the University of Wisconsin 7. Third will kick off the University of Southern California, the deep men Louis Holland and Ron Smith for Wisconsin, and the boot by Bird is a high end over end kick that drives Smith into the end zone. Five yards back, and he elects not to run it out. Smith elects not to run the big ball out of the end zone, and I must say that destruction is the better part of dollar on that call as the Trojans had infiltrated through the Wisconsin blockers and the ball will come out to the Wisconsin 20 first and 10 for the Badgers at that point. The Trojans of Southern California have struck twice here in this, the second period of play, to go with a first period touchdown and lead 21 to 7. Ron Heller going 25 yards for the third score for USC, and he was the boy that Mike Walden referred to a few minutes ago when he said that Heller was on the doubtful list because of a knee injury sustained last week in a dummy drill practice, and uh, they doubted whether or not Heller would play. He does have some ligament trouble, but when he followed the blocking of Tom Johnson and uh, Randy Jones and Bob Sweet, as he cut around his own right end and stood at 25 yards without a badger laying a hand on him, he certainly did not give indication that his knee was troubling him in any way. The right end, Larry Howard, is sent wide right, and we have a moment to sent wide right as Howard is out of the ball game. In motion goes Smith back to the left side and the snap to Vander Kellen who rolls out to the left, flips the pass out, completes the Smith at the 30. Gets away from the tackler at the 35 and carries up to the Wisconsin 37 where Damon Bain brings him down and drives him out of bounds on the far side of the field. Wide right and Ron Smith the slot back on the right side. In motion is Holland, there's the snap and Vander Kellen rolls up, fires the pass, completes to Howard just as the right end went down and cut back in about 10 yards, down to the 30, hit and dropped at about the 31. Damon Bame along with Ernie Pye and Jerry Hill in to make the stop for the University of Southern California. The ball is marked on the Wisconsin 32-yard line. Snap to Vander Kellen who rolls out to the left, flips the pass out, completes the Smith at the 30. Gets away from the tackler at the 35 and carries up to the Wisconsin 37 where Damon Bame brings him down and drives him out of bounds on the far side of the field. The officials bring the ball in, 17 yards to the far half, and Lee Flat is split out as Van der Kellen barks signal. Holland is in motion, coming back to the right side. Van der Kellen rolls back to pass, drops the ball, picks it up. He's some quarterback, 
comes back upfield on the run and gets to the 38 of 39. Vander Kellen took that snap, cocked his arm, dropped the football, picked it up on the first bounce and cut back upfield and carried to the 39-yard line. Give him a gain of one, make it wide to the right. The snap to Vander Kellen, pitches that ball back to Smith, puts his head down at the 40, carries to the 42, where Damon Bame and Ernie Pye combined to bring him down. Also over there was pick number 74 for USC, Randy Jones. Warfare out here this afternoon. Richard is wide right as Vander Kellen rolls out to the left on first down. Has good protection. Now being rushed. Now throws. Incomplete and almost intercepted. Pass intended for Richter, who had gone downfield and then seeing that Vander Kellen was in trouble, turned and came back about 10 yards short of the uh, quarterback, who fired a bullet-like toss. Bounced in the slot as Vander Kellen drops straight back on the snap from center. He's going to throw. He does. It's upfield. Nearly intercepted by Sigusby. But Larry could not get a hold of the ball. Larry Seguspe, the defensive linebacker for the University of Southern California. A flag is down in the... Personal foul is being called and indicated, and I would believe that it is against the University of Southern California. Uh, remaining in this, the first half is 241, 21-7. to 7, Wisconsin trailing Southern California. And with the way that Sandra Kellen can throw that football, he can get a good many passes off in 2 minutes and 41 seconds. He has Rick Bonnie Smith. Vander Kellen up near the center, parking signals, takes the snap. He's back to pass. Now rolls a little bit to his left, fires it out intended for Sylvester and it's incomplete. Vander Kellen tried to hit Kyle Sylvester, his left halfback, who was angling out to the left and looking to catch that ball and turn up field. 16. Vander Kellen rolling out to the right, flips the pass off that is batted down by Randy Jones, who's the biggest man on the University of Southern California team. He stands 6'4 and weighs 235. Corner is sent wide to the right. As Vander Cullen is back to pass. Third down situation, up the middle, it's complete. With that ball of Sylvester at the 40. Cuts back to the 35 and is down on the Trojan 34-yard line. Carl Sylvester catching the aerial thrown by Ron Vander Cullen. Tackled by uh, Ernie Pye and Willie Brown and Damon Bame on the Trojan 34-yard line. Down and about two yards to go. So the Badgers have a fourth and two situation on the Trojan 34 with two minutes and three seconds remaining in this the first half of play. Up to the line of scrimmage, Sylvester is wide left as a flanker back. Richter is split to the right. Vander Kellen gives to his fullback and his fullback. His halfback corner hits over the left side and has picked up the yardage down very close, if not... It is very close, ladies and gentlemen. Let me put the glasses on it. And Wisconsin, ladies and gentlemen, has missed a first down by an inch and a half or two inches at the most. High is the fullback, and Brown is the halfback. Bethel sent out as Bethel flips the ball to Brown. Going wide to the right, tries to turn the corner, cuts back in, slips at the 30 and gets nowhere. Brown losing about a yard or two, tackled by Merritt Norvell, the linebacker remaining in the first half. Southern California leads 21 to 7, the snap to Bethard. Flips to Brown, going wide to the right, he made throw, he does throw. A long pass downfield for Bethel, can he get it? No, Bethel goes for the ball, back there with him was Rick Rickhart. The ball goes incomplete down in the Wisconsin 33-yard line. A long lob pass by Willie Brown goes incomplete. The half-back aerial. The ball comes all the way back upfield to the Trojan 30-yard line as the clock stops with a minute and one second remaining in this the first half. And the Trojans out in front, 21 to 7. A great pageant of a halftime show will be on. Del County in motion as Bethard takes the snap and rolls out on the third down 12. Fires up the middle, intended for Brown, and it's incomplete. There on defense, to bat it away was Gary Croner. As Brown went high in the air to get the pass, but it bounced off him and Croner as Croner hit the intended receiver, Willie Brown. Fourth down for the Trojans. Lubitsch thunders the ball for the Trojans on their punt formations. The snap to Jones, and he gets the kick away. It's a high, wobbly kick coming down for a fair catch. Signaled for by Croner, and he fair catches the ball on the Wisconsin 37-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Badgers at that point. And a timeout is being taken on the field, a 33-yard kick. Howard, quarterback, takes the snap, rolls back, fires the pass, completes to Howard at the 50. He's hit by Willie Brown at the 50, and down he goes. 
It's good for a first and ten with Cantor. The clock is running with 27 seconds, and the Badgers are hustling into a quick formation. Ready to go. Vander Kellen sets the line and takes the snap, rolls out to his left. The Trojans rush him. Vander Kellen throws, and it's complete to Holland. He's hit. At the sidelines, he may get away. He is out of bounds, say the officials. Out of bounds on the 30, and for a moment, Louis Holland very nearly went for a touchdown. Hit by Pete Suthard, who jarred him just to the sidelines, and with great balance and great running ability, this boy Holland maintained his footing, did a bit of a toe dance down the sidelines, but succeeded in kicking up the shot. Les Richter is in now for Larry Howard. Two seconds to go. Clock stopped on the out-of-bounds play. Vander Kellen back to throw. Being rushed. Being rushed. He's hit. Gets away. Eludes another tackler. Comes back to the 30. Fires a pass in the end zone. It is complete for a touchdown for Wisconsin. Vander Kellen to Holland for the touchdown. A flag is down. And Vander Kellen gave us the greatest demonstration of scatter ball that we've seen. A clipping penalty against the University of Wisconsin nullifies a touchdown. And it went for naught. Here's Vander Kellen back again to pass. His receivers are downfield. He throws. The ball is in the air, incomplete. Almost intercepted by Armand Sanchez as it was tipped away as the gun found the end of the first half of play. And so we have the end of the first half with the score, the University of Southern California, 21, the University of Wisconsin, 7. To the right, Stronger advances toward the football and the second half is underway. It's a high end over end kick, carrying straight down the field, taken by Brown. He's up to the 5, the 10, the 15, the 20. He's still going to the 25, the 30, the 55, the 40. He's pulled out from behind at the 43 yard line of USC. Willie Brown with good speed almost got away for a long touchdown run. It was a 43 yard return of the opening kickoff of the second half by Willie Brown, a 5'11", 172 pound speedster from Southern California. Also has good speed for Wisconsin. Bethard back to pass, he throws complete to Bessel at the 50 yard line. Bessel runs parallel to the 50, cuts into the 45, he's out of the 40, the 35, 40, he may go all the way. The 15, 10, 5, touchdown Southern California! Bethard kicking will be Lupo. Snap back, place down the kick, it's up, it is good. And the score, the University of Southern California, 28, and Wisconsin, 7. Let us hope be max 10 seconds left in the third period. A kick that angles over to the right side, bounces in front of Louis Holland, he picks it up at the 15, starts the field, 20, 25, and he's up to the 30, 31 yard line. And now I believe the officials are going to rule that he slipped and fell to one knee back around the 25 yard line. The referee, Jimmy Kane, calling for the football. Holland appeared to slip to one knee at about the 25, 22 yard line and they're spotting the ball down at the 22-yard line. An offside penalty, however, has been whistled against Southern California. For USC, straight downfield, end over end, taken at the 15 by Holland. He angles up to the 20, cuts into the 25, the 30. Down he goes around the 33-yard line. Tackled by Pete Lubasic from USC. The referee... Jimmy Kane spots the ball at the 33-yard line. Badgers will put it in play, first and 10 from the Whitlam play, first and 10 from their own 33. Quarterback is Ron Vanderkellen. Vanderkellen hands off to the fullback. Curry could drive straight up the middle. He gets up around the 39-yard line. Curry, a 200-pound sophomore from Watertown, Wisconsin, pulled down at the 39 by Bill Fisk, USC left guard, and by three, the ball on the Wisconsin 39-yard line. In motion goes Silvestri. Quarterback Vanderkellen hands off to fullback Curry, who tries left guard, gets across the 40, maybe to about the 41, tackled by Larry Segusby. Segusby, a 212-pound junior linebacker from Southern California. Ball spotted out on the Wisconsin 41-yard line. Sylvester Croner and Curry in the backfield. In the slot of Sylvester to the left. 
Quarterback Vanderkellen hands off to the fullback Curry, who smashes over right tackle, carries across the 41 to about the 42 or 3, tripped up and spilled by Ernie Pye from the defensive secondary of Southern California. First down, yards on the right side. In the slot to the left is Silvestri in motion, goes corner. Vanderkellen rolls out to the left, looks downfield. He throws straight down the middle. It's caught by Rick to the 45. He's down to the 40 and spilled to the 39-yard line of Southern California. Pete Beathard and Willie Brown from the secondary finally brought down 6'6", 229-pound Pat Richter on the USC 29-yard line. A gaze through the air of 18 yards. Vanderkellen to Richter, and it's another ball on the USC 39-yard line. Quarterbacking is Vanderkellen. He sends Croner in motion to the right. Rolling out to the right is Vanderkellen. He throws. Caught by Richter at the 27-yard line, and he's tackled at the 26th of USC. Willie Brown filled him at the Trojan 26-yard line. Again through the air. 13 yards, and it's another first down for Wisconsin as the Badgers are taking to the air, trying to overcome that big deficit. USC leading 28 to 7. Richter has now caught four passes for 53 yards. The first and 10 Wisconsin, the ball is on the USC 26-yard line. Quarterback Vanderkellen hands off to the fullback Curry, smashes over left tackle, gets down to the 22-yard line, brought down at that point by Larry Segusby and Damon Bain. Segusby, the 212-pound junior, Bain 187 pounds of dynamite. It's second and six, Wisconsin, the USC 22-yard line. Back to pass, Vanderkellen, he throws, the pass is caught by Croner, and he's thrown out of bounds immediately at about the 17-yard line. Croner was covered by Ken Del Conte, but Croner made a nice reception of that pass thrown by Vanderkellen, and Croner was thrown out of bounds, and placing Steve Underwood for Wisconsin. Vanderkellen fakes the handoff to Croner, rolls out to the left, he's being chased, now he's going to run with the ball, he cuts into the 15, the 10, the 5, he is over! Vanderkellen scores for Wisconsin! Kellen rolled out to his left, looked downfield, he couldn't spot any receivers open, so he decided to run with that football, and he ran right over Larry Segusby and Ken Del Conte, and Vander Kellen scores from 17 yards out, and the The ball is snapped back, placed down the boot by Croner, it is up, it is good, and the score, the University of Southern California, 28, Wisconsin, 14, up. just kicked off for Wisconsin. The ball was taken by Willie Brown, and he returned it to the 33-yard line. A nice return by Brown. He was tackled by Jim Schenk and Jim Nettles. So, the Trojans of Southern California will put the ball in play. First and 10 now from the USC 33-yard line on the back of the helmet. Southern California puts the ball in play. Bethard, Brown, Del Conte, and Wilson in the backfield. Bethard on the rollout play, the quarterback option goes around the right side, but he's hit and brought down right about the line of scrimmage, the 33-yard line by Ron Carlson, the left end of Wisconsin. Brown goes in motion to the right, Bethard rolling out to the left, looks downfield, he stops, he's being chased by Larry Howard, he's going to run with the ball now, he's up to the 30, out of bounds around the 33-yard line. Larry Howard, the big defensive right end of Wisconsin, was putting the pressure on Bethard, and he tried to catch Pete, but Pete was a little bit too elusive, and they finally shoved him out of bounds at around the 33-34 yard line. Betzel wide to the right. Bethard rolls out to the right. He's looking for Betzel. He throws for Betzel. No, it's complete to Brown at the 40 yard line. And Brown made a great catch at the 40 yard line and was shoved out of bounds at the 37 yard line by Ron Vanderkellen playing on defense. Betzel was the short man, Brown was the long man. Betzel was upfield about 10 yards, and Bethard threw long to Brown, who made a nice grab and was shoved out of bounds. Seven yard line, in motion goes Brown to the left, the handoff to Big Ben Wilson, who power drives down the middle, gets across the 35 to the 34. Tackled by Lee Burnett, a 6'2", 235 to the left. Bethard hands off to Willie Brown, and Willie Brown slants over tackle, gets down to the 33 yard line. 
brought to the ground by Larry Howard and Jim Purnell. Gain of just a yard on the floor. Back is Bethard. He sends Del Conte in motion. Bethard throws the Bethard. He catches the ball at the 25. And he is brought down at the 24-yard line. A little flat in pass. Bethard throwing the Bethel, and it's a first down for Southern California. They needed six yards, and in the 24-yard line, a gain of nine yards through the air, and a timeout has been called. The pitchback goes to Willie Brown, the left halfback of Southern California, around the right side. He's brought down at the 21-yard line of Wisconsin. A pickup of three yards. The tackle on Willie Brown was made by Ron Carlson and Larry Howard. Two ends, Carlson on the left side, Howard on the right side. Second down and seven. The ball is on the Wisconsin 21-yard line. Southern California 28, Wisconsin 14. Six minutes and 45 seconds to play in the third quarter. Off goes to the fullback, Wilson. Smacks into the middle, gets across the 20, down to the 18-yard line. Wilson with a fullback plunge, carries down to the Wisconsin 18. Tackled by Bobby Howard, Nettles, Riker, Croner, and Purnell on defense for the Badgers. Beth at the quarterback, hands off to the halfback, Brown, slants into the middle, gets down to about the 15, but there was a penalty marker on the play. USC offside on the play. Referee Jim put off on the right side. Bethard rolls out to the right, fakes one throw. Now he throws long for Bethel in the end zone. Great catch, touchdown USC! A great catch by Bethel, and USC has scored once again. USC 6'5", 213-pound junior left end, clearly demonstrated why he is an All-American. 34-14, USC over Wisconsin. Lupo will attempt to kick the extra point. It's up, it is good, and Southern California now has the lead of 35-14 over Wisconsin. Mitchell has caught four passes for 100 yards this afternoon and two touchdowns. Kicking off is Mac Bird, Deepman, Holland, and Reichert. The ball is taken by Holland back in the end zone. He runs it out up to the 5, the 10, the 15. The, ooh, is he hit hard. Oh, brother, was he hit at the 20-yard line by Lauren Hunt. Holland had a full head of steam, and Hunt met him head on, and what a collision. Southern California has an earthquake now and then, and they almost had a tremble right there as Hunt. Ball is on the Wisconsin 20-yard line. You have the quarterback for Wisconsin. Ron Smith goes in motion. Vandy back to pass. Being right now he has time gets away from another man a good block there at the five yard line bandy runs it up to the 15 throws and it's caught by richter he laterals the ball to Silvestri, and he fumbles the ball and Silvestri makes the recovery but they have ruled the officials are in there now talking things over they may have ruled At the 45-yard line, now there's the discussion at the 48-yard line. Vanderkillum threw to Richter, and Richter lateral that ball at the 45-yard line to Silvestri, who fumbled the ball. And now it's a penalty against Wisconsin, ineligible receiver downfield. Silvestri, Ron Smith, and Ralph Couric in the backfield for Wisconsin. And off goes to Ron Smith, a reverse who hands it off to Silvestri. Now he laterals the ball to Vanderkellen at the 15, and Vanderkellen gets up to the 16. A little bit of dipsy do in the Wisconsin backfield as first Vanderkellen handed off to Ron Smith. He started around the left side. He, in turn, had a gain of six yards on the play. The tackle was made by Damon Bame and Ernie Pye. Quarterback is Vanderkellen. Richter split off to the right side. Vandy pulls back, looks downfield. He throws the bullet. It's caught at the 30-yard line by Silvestri. He's up at the 35 and brought down at the 37-yard line by Damon Bame, backing up the USC line. Again on the play of 21 yards through the air. Vanderkellen throwing. Richter split off on the right side. Back to throw again is Vanderkellen. He's being rushed. He's hit. Loose ball. And it's recovered by Wisconsin at the 24-yard line. Vandy cocked the right arm back to throw, and he was hit by Bob Sweet. As he was ready to throw, the ball pounced to the ground, fell loosely on the ground, and was recovered. 5-14, Southern California leads. Vanderkellen throws complete. 
to Ron Smith, and Smith was hitting his tracks at the 34-yard line. Damon Bame, again, in there to make the tackle for Southern California. Wisconsin. 34-yard line. Back to passes. Vander Gallenese right. The pass is low. Intended for Carl Silvestri at the 48-yard line. Gary Hill back on pass defense, but the Trojan forward wall put another heavy right. USC, Willie Brown and Lauren Hunt. Good snap from center, and here's the punt by Richter. It's straight up the shaft, but it's a beauty, a high, high spiral that comes down to the 12-yard line. The ball is fielded by Lauren Hunt. He slips to both knees as he grabs the ball at the 13. A tremendous punt by Pat Richter. 54 yards by Richter. That's Richter. Trojans put the ball in play, first and 10 from their own 13. The pitch back from Nelson finds Teller on the right side. He's up to the 15. Knocked down at the 17-yard line of USC. Ron Parr made the tackle for Wisconsin. The backfield for Southern California has Nelson at quarterback. The 17-yard line. Back to pass is Nelson. He throws on the run. It's complete to Heller at the 25. He's up to the 30. Slips and falls at the 35-yard line. Ron Heller was about to be tackled by Gary Croner. He tried to cut in and spin around Croner. And his footing gave way, and he fell to the ground at the 35-yard line. An 18 boy in the lead at 35 to 14 over Wisconsin. First just a couple of days ago. Nelson throws on the run, way, way downfield, and it's incomplete intended for Toby Thurlow, the left end. Nelson went for the long one that time. He tried to hit Thurlow, the left end. He uncorked a pass that must have traveled about 50. Jay Clark is wide to the left. Back to pass is Nelson. He is hit as he throws and the pass fell in front of the intended receiver Heller at about the 28 yard line. They have called intentional grounding against Nelson. Larry for USC from the Southern California 27 yard line. Throwing on the run is going to be Nelson. Now he stops. He's got time. He throws. It is incomplete at the 50 yard line. Intended for Toby Thurlow at the 40 yard line. But as Thurlow cut around he slipped and fell to the ground. And Thurlow was nowhere in sight when the formation with Ernie Jones back. Both Jones and Richter have boomed up some big ones today. Here's the punt by Jones. It's another high spiral punt. Fair catch signal for the 35-yard line by Gary Croner. He takes the ball, and the Badgers will put it in play. First and 10 from the Wisconsin 35-yard line. Let's pawn in the third quarter. In the slot to the right is Gary Croner. First and 10 from the Wisconsin 35-yard line. Long count. Vander Kellen up. Throws. Incomplete to Larry. It's intercepted down the 42-yard line by Lupo. He's back to the 30, the 20, the 15. Out of bounds at the 12-yard line. Vander Kellen on a long count. Reared up and hit Howard with a pass that hit him on the hand. The ball popped into the air. Then it was intercepted by Lupo, who juggled that ball a moment or two, and then set out in flight toward the goal. And he was tossed out of bounds at the 13 or 14 yard line. Referee the to guard to Goosby at center. Quarterback Bethard pitches back to Brown around the right side, and he's brought down at about the 12 yard line. Willie Brown circling around the right side, picking up a couple of yards. Tackled by Mike Rose and Roger Phillips from the left side of the Wisconsin line. Ball is placed out of the Wisconsin 12. And there is the gun, and that is the end of the third quarter. Bethard rolls out to the left, looks downfield. He has time. He throws. Complete touchdown. Kill grabs the ball, and USC has scored again. California football fans are going wild. Deliriously thing will be better. Lupo will attempt to kick the extra point. The ball is snapped back, placed down the boot up, straight as an arrow, it's good. And Southern California has a lead of 42 to 14. Here's the kickoff by Mac Bird. It carries back deep in the end zone, fielded by Ron Smith, and he's not going to try to run it out. Kneels down to his right knee for the automatic touchback. Bethard has completed six out of eight for 147 yards and 
four touchdowns. USC 42, Wisconsin 14. And what appeared to be a close battle and was throughout the first half now has turned into a USC rout. 42-14 over Wisconsin. Richter comes out wide to the left. Quarterback is Vanderkellen. In the slot on the right is Ron Smith. He goes in motion out of the left. Handoff goes to the fullback Curry. Moves straight up the middle and gets up to the 24-yard line. Tackled by Gary Kerner, a 200-pound junior from Los Angeles. In on the Richter split off on the left side. Vanderkellen drops straight back. Throws the little pass over the middle. It's complete to Louis Hopperty. He's up to the 35. And he's chased out of bounds near the 38 or 39-yard line. Del Conti and Willie Brown applied the pressure and threw him out of bounds at the 39. Again goes Ron Smith. Back to pass is Vanderkellen. He throws on the run. It is not caught by Louis Holland. He juggled that ball like a hot potato at the 48-yard line. Couldn't find the handle, and finally the ball fell harmlessly to the ground. Bethard and Willie Brown were at the Wisconsin 39-yard line. Back to throw is Vanderkellen. He pitches. It is caught complete by Pat Richter at the 48-yard line of Southern California. And Richter was out of bounds just about the time he caught that ball. The USC 48-yard line. In motion goes Ron Smith to the left. Rolling out to the left is Vanderkellen. He's throwing. It's complete at the 40-yard line to Carl Silvestri. He's down at the 35. Out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Silvestri, a sophomore from Shorewood, Wisconsin, was shoved out of bounds by Pete Bethard. And Bethard not only does an outstanding yard line, Richter is split off on the left side. Back to pass. Vanderkellen straight over the middle. Complete to Holland at the 30. He's down to the 25. Dragged down from behind by Armando Sanchez at the 24-yard line. Again on the back. Vanderkellen pulls straight back. Throws a little swing pass complete behind the line of scrimmage to Curry. He's at the 25, rolled to the ground at the 23-yard line by Randy Jones. A big 6'4", 222-pounder, a sophomore. Now, the referee, Jim King, has signaled for an official timeout and bringing in the chain gang from the far side of the field for a measurement. Six are placed down, and it's a first down for Wisconsin. First and ten for the Badgers on the 23-yard line of Southern California. Wisconsin, believe it or not, has racked up 21 first downs to only 10 for Southern California. But the scoreboard is just the reverse. USC 42, Wisconsin 14. Back to pass is Vanderkellen. Straight over the middle. Complete to Ron Smith. He's at the 10. Down to the 5-yard line. But there were penalty markers all over the field. It appeared that Vanderkellen, or one of the Wisconsin backs, was in motion at the time. The ball wide to the left this time. Richter split off on the right side. Vanderkellen again taking to the air. Dropping back. Shoots the pass. It is caught by Holland. And Holland is hit immediately and hit hard by Bethard. Holland caught that ball at the 17-yard line, and he was almost cut in two by a vicious tackle put on him by Pete Smith. You get a score here with 12 and a half minutes to go in the ball game. Back to pass. Vanderkellen straight over the middle, complete to Holland, and Holland is pulled down now by Damon Bame at the 12-yard line. A gain of four yards on the play. Now Jimmy Kane, the referee, calls for his own timeout here as he wants to have another measurement. Gary Croner has entered the ball game at right halfback for Wisconsin, and Ron Smith goes out. The six are placed down, and here is the measurement. First down for Wisconsin. The ball is on the Trojan 12-yard line, a first and 10 now for the Badgers as they're driving for a score. But at best, it can only be a consolation score because Southern California has a big lead, 42-14 over Wisconsin. Wide to the left comes Pat Richter. Quarterback, 
Vanderkillen sends Kroner in motion to the left. Vanderkillen is back to throw. He has time. Now the pressure is on. He throws on the run. It is incomplete. Intended for Elmar Ezrin. The left end of Wisconsin in the end zone. The pressure was applied by the two big ends that got in there. Away from Elmar Ezrin. Second and ten. Vanderkillen today has completed 24 out of 35 for two touchdowns. A total of 288 yards. In motion to the right is Louis Holland. The pitch back from Vanderkellen to Holland. Now Holland wants to throw the pass. No, he's going to run with the ball. He cuts into the 10. He's still going down to the 5. Touchdown for Wisconsin. Louis Holland has scored for the Badgers. The ball is snapped back, placed down. The kick by Croner is up. It is good. And the score, University of Southern California, 42, Wisconsin, 21. UFC as Croner kicks off. It carries back into the end zone, taken at the goal line by Willie Brown. Straight up field, 5, 10, 15, veers over to the 20, 25, down he goes at the 28-yard line. Stocked down to the ground by Ron Strain, a sophomore from Chicago. Ball is placed down at the 28-yard line, and USC will put it in play. First and 10. Bedsell put off at the left side. Handoff goes from the quarterback, Fetter, to the fullback, Brown. And a fumble recovered by Wisconsin. Recovered by Elmar Zizzerin. 10 minutes, 35 seconds to play in the game. Southern California, 42. Wisconsin, 21. That's the second USC fumble this afternoon, the first Wisconsin recovery. First and 10 now for the Badgers from the Southern California 29-yard line. Vander Kellen running for his life. Circles out to the left. Throws on the run. The pass is incomplete intended for him. A good rush on Vander Kellen, put on him by Bob Swea. Spelled S-10 Wisconsin from the USC 29-yard line. In motion goes Ron Smith. Back to pass, Vander Kellen, he throws. The pass caught by Richter at the 15. Richter's down to the 10. And Richter's finally stopped at the 9-yard line, but he never could get the big guy down. He was finally just pinned in there at the 9-yard line, standing straight up and finally at the 10-yard line. In motion goes Louis Holland. The handoff to Holland around the right side. He cuts in over right tackle. Fights for yardage as he gets down to the seven-yard line. Louis Holland moved over between right guard and right tackle and got to the USC seven-yard line. Quarterback Vanderkillen turns around. Hands off to the fullback, Burnell, who bucks down the middle, gets across the five to about the four-yard line. Gain on the play of three yards, four yard line. Wisconsin, four yards away from another score as the Trojans have a 42 21 advantage over the Big Ten champion Wisconsin Badgers. We're in the fourth period. In motion to the right goes Louis Holland. Big handoff, Vander Kellen throws, touchdown to corner in the corner. Vander Kellen, the corner great grab over in the corner and the Badgers have scored again with eight and a half minutes to play in the fourth quarter the center is Heckel the ball is snapped back placed down and here is the kick by Croner it is up and for the year Gary Croner is now 32 out of 32 and the score is Southern California 42 Wisconsin 28 with 8 minutes and 32 seconds to play in the fourth quarter. Broner advances toward the football. Del Conte and Brown are deep. The ball is fielded by Brown at the 5. Straight up field. 10, 15. Veers a little bit at the 25 and is brought down at the 28-yard line. That was the return of 23 yards by Willie Brown. The tackle was made by Ron Parr. Touchdown. 
Southern California running with the ball. Pete Bethard rolling out to the left. He's going to carry. He is thrown out of bounds at around the 31 or 32 yard line. Purnell shoving him out of bounds at the 32. Second and seven, Southern Cal. The handoff goes to the fullback. Wilson flats over tackle, gets up to the 35. Brought down at the 35 by the right side of the Wisconsin. Edsel put off at left end. Back to throw is Bethard. He's on the run. He is almost hit as he throws on the run. It's caught straight hit by Brown at the 40, the 35, and he's dumped at the 31-yard line. Ron Brain made the stop on Willie Brown at the 31-yard line, and Brown has just electrified this crowd with a tremendous Wisconsin 31. Bill Conti is flanked out to the left this time. Beathard pitches back to Brown. Cuts in over left tackle, flagging the play, and Brown is stopped at the 32-yard line. Purnell and Howard in there to hit him and hit him high. The penalty is against USC. Illegal motion against the Trojans. And the penalty has Betzel took it off on the right side. Quarterback Pete Bethard pitches back now to Ron Heller. He's back to throw. Heller's pass is almost intercepted at the 10-yard line. The pass was intended for Bedsel at the 5, but in front of Bedsel at the 10 was Jim Nettles, who fell to the ground trying to make the inning. Six minutes, 41 seconds to go in the contest. USC 42, Wisconsin 28. Bethard throws. It's incomplete at the 25-yard line. Intended for Hal Bedsel. Bethard had to trigger his pass a little bit sooner than he wanted to, and as a result, that pass wide to the right. Nelson in there at quarterback. He's back to throw, and he throws long for Bethard. It is almost intercepted. It's caught by Richter at the 42-yard line, and he's twisted to the ground immediately by Ernie Pye. And the ball on the Wisconsin 42 in motion. To the left goes Ron Smith. Vandercullen rolling out to the left. He looks downfield. He throws. The pass is caught by Richter at the 44-yard line of Southern California. And Richter is dropped in his track by Gary Hill. Another first down. Another first down for Wisconsin. Six minutes to go in the game. Six minutes left. The Badgers fighting valiantly. They were behind at one stage, 42 to 14. Now they've got to battle not only Southern California, but the clock as well. Back to pass, Vanderkellen, straight over the middle, complete to Holland at the 40. He retreats back to the 44. He cuts in at the 41, and he's thrown to the ground at the 41-yard line by Ernie Pye. Holland popped that ball right in the middle of the field at the 40-yard line, retreated some four yards. Second down. Uh, The ball is on the Southern California 41-yard line. In motion goes Croner. Vander Kellen is back to throw. Rolls out to the right now. Now he retreats again. He almost runs over one of the officials. He throws in the run. Complete the corner at the 40, the 35, the 30, 25, 20. He cuts it at the 15, and he's out of bounds at the 14-yard line. Gary Hill ran him out of bounds at the 14-yard line. A tremendous effort by Vander Kellen. Vander Kellen had pressure applied from both sides, the right and the left, and he kept retreating. He almost ran into one of the officials. He did bump him, but Vander Kellen still managed to get off that C 15-yard line. Richter is put out wide to the right. Holland goes in motion to the right. The ball is snapped back. Vander Kellen rolls out of the right. He throws incomplete to Holland, the swing pass near the line of scrimmage, the 15-yard line, but the pass was over his head incomplete. Wisconsin has 30 first downs, and Southern California 15. Goes out wide to the right. Quarterback Vanderkellen rolling out to the right now. He's hemmed in. He gets away. He throws on the run. It's caught at the nine-yard line by Richter. He's done at the five, the four-yard line. Richter makes the grab, and Hoover makes the tackle at the four-yard line. And now the Badgers have it first and goal to go at the USC four-yard line. And Wisconsin has called for a timeout. Got to hand it to Wisconsin. Win, lose, lose, or draw here this afternoon. A lot of clubs would have folded with a 42-14 score against them. But the Badgers have not. First and goal to go at the USC four-yard line. Vander Kellen rolls out to the right. He throws into the end zone. It is intercepted in the end zone. 
USC comes up with a clutch interception. Willie Brown stepped in front of the intended receiver and made the interception for USC. The pass was intended for Elmar Tesserin to left end, and Brown stepped in front of him and made the interception in the end zone for the automatic touchback. And now Southern California will take over first and 10 on the USC 20-yard line. The clock showing four minutes and three seconds left in the game. Ron Vanderkellen today has completed 33 out of 44 for 377 yards. Three of his passes have... Quarterback is Pete Bethard for Southern California. Brown goes out wide. The handoff goes to the fullback, Wilson. A line smash. Wilson gets from the 20 up to the 23. A pickup of three yards by Big Southern California 23-yard line. Brown goes out wide to the left. The handoff goes to Wilson. He rams over tackle again. Gets across the 25 to the 26. Tackle was made by the right side of the Wisconsin line. First man to meet. The clock ticking away the second. Three minutes and ten seconds left now. 3-10 to play in the game. And this is USC 25-yard line. In motion goes Willie Brown to the right. Bethard rolling out to the right to throw the forward pass. He throws him around. It is incomplete at the 36-yard line in front of the Wisconsin bench. Jim Nettles on pass defense for Wisconsin. The pass was intended. Down five, and they're going to be forced into a punt formation. Back to kick is Jones. It goes over his head. Back into the end zone. Jones picks up the ball, and he's hit right away as he picked up that ball. The pass from center went over his head, and a safety has been signaled. Elmar Zezerin clamped a bear hug around Ernie Jones, and a safety has been signaled. Now the ball will be brought out of the 20 and a free boot. Near the end line, 20-yard line. Here is the punt, end over end. Hits at the 35-yard line of Wisconsin Rolls back to the 28-yard line, and it goes out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Over there watching that ball go out of bounds. Now Jones punts from the 15. It's a high end over end kick. Taken at the 35 yard line by Smith. He fumbles the ball. Picks it up. He's up to the 40. 45, 50. Down to the 45. He's still going down. He goes to the 43 yard line of USC. And the catalyst of the Wisconsin attack. Falls back. Sweeps his eyes downfield. The pass completes to Holland. He slips down at the 37 yard line. He slipped to his left knee as Vanderkellen hit him on a little pass straight over the middle. But Holland tried to cut in and Second and four to go for Wisconsin. Vanderkellen rolls out to the right, throws the pass. It's complete to Richter at the 30. He's down to the 25, the 20. Richter is down to fumble the ball. And it's recovered by Wisconsin. Richter fumbled the ball at the 18-yard line and Wisconsin recovered at the 18. Louis Holland made the recovery for Wisconsin. Now, Vanderkellen rolls out to the right. He fakes one pass, throws down the middle, complete to Richter. Minute and 19 seconds left in the game. What a... All right, holding will be Vander Kellen, kicking will be corner, ball snap back, place down the boot is up, it is good! And the score, Southern California 42, Wisconsin 37. And I'm sure that and I'm sure that USC is alert to that fact too. There is the onside kick, it goes to the 45, fumble, and USC has the ball at the 41-yard line. One of the first linemen to try to scoop up that ball missed it, he fumbled it, and uh, on the bottom of the pile is Pete Lubasic for Bethard, rolls out to the left. He's gonna roll with the ball now, and he's hit and dropped back on about the 34-yard line. Bethard, running around to the left. Running around to the left, was hit and snowed under at the 34-yard line. Nine, here in the seven, 58 seconds, declined by Wisconsin. That'll make it third down. Third and about 15 to go for USC. The Badgers trying desperately to get a hold of that football again before time runs out. Only 54 seconds left. This is the third down play. 
for Southern California. Del Conte goes out wide to the right. Bedsel put off of the left. The pitch back goes to Willie Brown. Wide around the right side. Brown is hit and stowed under at the 27-yard line. He was hit by Omar Zezarin, the first man to hit him. Richter was also in there. So was Ron Frayne. A loss on the play. Back to... Boomer here today to get USC out of trouble with only 11 seconds left. The ball is snapped back. He punched. It's almost blocked. He got away, however. The ball is taken at the 49-yard line, 40-yard line. It's picked up now by Shink. It was fumbled and picked up by Shink. And there goes the gun. The ball game is all over. USC wins the ball game. That's the end of the 49th annual Rose Bowl game with the score, the final score. Southern California, 42, Wisconsin, 37. Also has good speed for Wisconsin. Bethard back to pass, he throws, complete the pass at the 50 yard line. Bethard runs parallel with the 50, cuts it at the 45, he's got it at the 40, the 35, 30, he may go all the way. The 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Southern California. Placing Steve Underwood for Wisconsin. Vander Kelden fakes the handoff to Kohler, rolls out to the left, he's being chased. Now he's going to run with the ball, he cuts it at the 15, the 10, the 5, he is over. Vander Kelden scores for Wisconsin. On the right side, Bethard rolls out to the right, fakes one throw. Now he throws long for Bessel in the end zone. Great catch, touchdown USC! A great catch by Bessel. And you in the third quarter, in the slot to the right is Gary Croner. First and ten from the Wisconsin 35-yard line. Long count. Vander Kellen up, throws incomplete to Larry. And intercepted now the 42-yard line by Lupo. He's back to the 30, the 20, the 15, out of bounds at the 12-yard line. Bethard rolls out to the left, looks downfield. He has time. He throws. Complete touchdown. Kill grab the ball. In motion to the right is Louis Holland. The pitch back from Vanderkill to Holland. Now Holland wants to throw the pass. No, he's going to run with the ball. He cuts in at the 10. He's still going down to the 5. Touchdown for Wisconsin. We're in the fourth period. In motion to the right goes Louis Holland. Big handoff. Vanderkill throws. Touchdown. The corner in the corner. Edsel put off at left end. Back to throw is Bethard. He's on the run. He is almost hit as he throws on the run. It's caught great hit by Brown at the 40, the 35, and he's dumped. Uh, the, the ball is on the Southern California 41-yard line. In motion goes Croner. Vander Kellen is back to throw. Rolls out to the right now. Now he retreats again. He almost runs over one of the officials. He throws in the run. Complete the corner at the 40, the 35, the 30, 25, 20. He cuts it at the 15, and he's out of bounds. He score against them, but the Badgers have not. First and goal to go at the USC four-yard line. Vander Kellen rolls out to the right. He throws into the end zone. It is intercepted in the end zone. Down five, and they're going to be forced into a punt formation. Back to kick is Jones. It goes over his head. Back into the end zone. Jones picks up the ball, and he's hit. Now, Vander Kellen rolls out to the right. He fakes one pass, throws down the middle, complete the Richard touchdown. USC is alert to that fact, too. There is the onside kick. It goes to the 45 fumble, and USC has the ball at the 41. Boomer here today to get USC out of trouble with only 11 seconds left. The ball is snapped back. He punched. It's almost blocked. He got away, however. The ball is taken at the 49-yard line, 40-yard line. It's picked up now by Shink. It was fumbled and picked up by Shink. And there goes the gun. The ball game is all over. USC wins the ball game. That's the end of the 49th annual Rose Bowl game with the score, the final score. Southern California, 42, Wisconsin, 37.